the Holy Family, and our family. Can we be honest for a moment? Being a family can be very, very difficult. Now, I'm sure there are people who look at our family, my wife and I and our seven kids, and think, wow, how do they show up to Mass on time? How is all their hair brushed and their dresses neat? They must be really holy in order to take on the challenges of having that many kids. But the reality is, we start getting ready like three hours before Mass. There's shouting, and there's missing belts, and there's toothpaste in the hair and poop on the floor. It's intense. We're a family just like any other family. We're in need of a savior. Now, being a family is difficult. The struggle is real from fights to negative balances in bank accounts to in-laws to really, really deep hurts. Being a family is difficult, but it's worth it because it's in the family that we know things like unconditional love, that we're not alone, and it's where the faith is passed on. Now, taking a look at the Holy Family, I think that during Christmas season, we tend to over-sentimentalize the Holy Family. They become figurines of plaster or paper and not human flesh and blood. But the reality is they weren't much different from you and I. Their life was full of struggle. When I look at their story, I see, you know, a, a, a mother who was pregnant before she was married. I see a father who, you know, confronts scandal and starts planning a divorce. I see a family that's forced to be refugees in a land where their ancestors were formerly slaves. And of course, I see family and friends so against what their son was teaching that they plan to seize him and ultimately murder him. All the while, while the mother is just steps away in unimaginable sorrow. There was real struggle in the Holy Family's life, just like in, in our life. And so they are our model of encountering this human struggle. But what we see in the Holy Family is that they were full of an intense hope that was founded upon a trust in God that no matter what, no matter what the circumstance might be, that God had them and that he wanted the best from them. And so as we take them as our model and our, as our example, we also reach out to them as friends. They can console us and intercede for us from a been there, done that perspective. And so I have a couple of thoughts. One is place an image, a statue, or a picture of the Holy Family in a prominent place in your home that you can look on in times of struggle. It could be homework or it could be a miscommunication between spouses. Whatever might be going on in your family where it's a, it's a struggle, uh, a trial, look to the Holy Family. They desire to assist us in bringing grace into our home and they want to intercede for us. And so we should use them as friends to say, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, please pray for our family in this time of need. They understand suffering. Secondly, I would encourage us, you know, if you're struggling with the idea that, that somehow you're not a perfect family, uh, let that go. The reality is God comes to us, not in our perfection, but in our mess. He knows that family life is messy and that it's full of struggle. He invented it. He desires for you and I and our families to trust more in Him and abide in Him in those times of struggle and trial. He wants to come to us in our messiness. And so acknowledge the fact, man, we are not perfect, but that's okay because God desires our mess and He wants to come into that so that He can bring it grace and ultimately that we can trust Him more. So from my messy family to yours, May you be blessed this Christmas season and this feast of the Holy Family.